Yesterday, in the morning hours, we were able to get a tip of uh, an intelligence uh, from our uh, informers and also members of the public that uh, there are narcotic drugs which are being uh, brought to our country uh, and uh, we laid an ambush uh, in our porous border at a place called uh, Nyamitaburo. We were able uh, to catch up with them with the same vehicle, of course, which is behind me, and high-end vehicle, of course, uh, which is used by not low-class people, but high-class, uh, of course, uh, people. And uh, we, are, we are able to intercept the same vehicle at, uh, at a bridge beyond Mabera, uh, called Karam area. And uh, though there was a lot of resistance, but we are able to intercept and that vehicle. And among the three occupants, the driver and another occupant, they were arrested by the officers. And one of them escaped. And uh, after search, after search, you see the vehicle is a Prado make. Of course, uh, uh, a lot of people you cannot uh, you cannot uh, you cannot buy such vehicle. It's only for the few. So inside that vehicle, we are able to intercept and search and uh, get uh, uh, six sacks of narcotic drugs, uh, precisely cannabis sativa. Uh, to wheat uh, almost uh, 300 kilograms uh, with a street value of uh, uh, Kenya shillings 9 million. And of course, uh, we were able uh, to put the two in custody. And this morning, uh, we took the two suspects in court. 
they will be arranged in court, of course, this is this, uh, today. And uh, of course, they will face the charges related to narcotic drugs uh, and uh, face the full course of the law. We usually interact on a daily basis to our counterparts on the other side, the Tanzanian side, and uh, we have seen a lot of successes. So we shall collaborate on the same on the daily basis and I want also to applaud those officers from the other side. They are still working so close uh, to us and we have held uh, several meetings to ensure that we enhance the, the issues of security along our border. Fight has intensified and uh, the officers are very much proactive to ensure that that fight uh, is taken to another level and that is what we are doing. Kulingana na assessment yetu ni kwamba kumekuwa sasa na mabadiliko change of tactic change of strategy kwa sababu hapo awali tulikuwa tumezoea kuona wakitumia magari kama hizi za matatu walikuwa wanazoea kutumia pikipiki walikuwa wanazoea kutumia pro box lakini sasa kwa sababu our officers have intensified the crackdown now we have seen them changing the tactic. Wanatumia magari ambaso hatunge tarajia. High-end vehicles. Kama hii prando yenye munaona hapa. Hapo awali, munaona last week, mutaona kuna Nissan matatu iko hapo, ambayo ilikuwa inatumika. Samani walikuwa wamezoea kubeba usiku. Lakini tena tumiona change of tact. Wamebandilika sasa wabebi usiku ni mchana. Mchana mtu mmoja anajiingia kwa gari ya hali ya juu amevaa vizuri kama muheshimiwa ama kama mtu mwenye yako na heshima sana na anakaa kama sasa anasafirishwa alafu na mwingine naye anakaa hapo nyuma kama bodyguard yake kusema kweli kama ofisa wetu waonge kuwa makini sana wangechukulia kwamba hawa ni watu wenye wako na ardhi kwa society na ni watu ambao wanafanya kazi mzuri so tunasema wajaribu kubinu yoyote ile tutawashika. Kunaona saa hii kesi hizi ya bangi zimeenda juu. Ni kwa sababu zile zenye zilikuwa zimepandwa pamoja na mahindi. Mahindi ikivunwa bangi nayo inavunwa. So hii consignment ni among zingine mingi ambazo tumeshika.